The 17th edition of the Safaricom Lewa Marathon will be held on the 25th of June. 12 communities with 50,000 people neighboring the expansive conservancy and as Warote Key reports, the community is the first line of defense for conservation efforts at the Lewa Conservancy and in return, it benefits greatly. With the dawn of a new day at the Lewa Conservancy, the date of the 2016 Safaricom Lewa Marathon draws ever so closer. The Lewa Conservancy is an expansive 62,000 acres and there are 12 communities neighboring the Conservancy with a total population of 50,000 people. With every step taken and every drop of sweat shed by the runners, money is raised and more importantly, lives are transformed. One beautiful thing about the marathon is no longer in the calendars of the communities, but it's in the hearts of the communities because they know every time they sweat running, they sweat for their development. Mama Ayub lives in Manyangalo village, an hour's drive from Lewa Conservancy and several hours away from Isiolo town. Through the Lewa clinic, built and run from crosses of the Safaricom Lewa Marathon, three-month-old Ayub and his two older siblings can access health care, closer home and at subsidized rates. A few months ago, we had a massive screening for women, whereby we screened about 174 women. And during that campaign, we were able to identify about 16 women who had precancerous lesions. And these women were referred to for other services. And luckily enough, we are able to save these women from advanced cancer. Josephine Elokurut, who has lived in one of the villages surrounding the Lewa Conservancy for over a decade, waters her crop and by extension, her dream of a better life. Through the Safaricom Lewa Marathon Fund, 13 water projects uplifting the lives of 23,000 people have been initiated. The water is both for domestic use as well as agricultural use. For Josephine and her neighbor Marissa, the impact of the marathon is personal. Women empowerment in the 12 villages surrounding the Lewa Conservancy has also been given a boost by proceeds from the Marathon Kitty. From 30 women seven years ago, a total of 1,800 women are now part of the Lewa Women's Microcredit Program. The Lewa Education Program is at the heart of the Safaricom Lewa Marathon Community Development Programs. 2015 saw 21 schools supported with over 7,500 students enrolled and 75 teachers employed. Close to 400 bursaries and scholarships were awarded to students based on need and academic potential. Martin Kimaita, who's also one of our students, through primary schools, through high school, through Kenya Methodist University, graduated uh, with a bachelor's in IT, and now is working as a communication specialist with Northern Rangeland Trust. This is what running for a good cause actually means. The students having a chance at life, a chance at an education. The Lower Wildlife Conservancy is an award-winning catalyst and model for conservation. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it boasts of a huge number of wildlife. We have been able to conserve and to protect at least 12% of the black rhinos that we have in the entire country. We have also been able to protect up to 14% of the white rhino population that we have got in the country. We are not really talking of having firearms to stop pushing, having, you know, all these kind of um, uh, technologies and everything to stop pushing. But the main thing that Lewa have really succeeded, um, you know, stopping all these pushing and issues like that is just to bring communities on board. So our communities which are around Lewa, they are really benefiting a lot from Lewa. So that is our first defense line. Kilimani was a classic example where we had a lot of poaching but coming through the LMD land into Lewa and walked into a school called Kilimani 
that um, had barely any resources. And we've been able to do 12 classes, girls' dormitory, a fence to keep off the camels and the compound and the goats, but also a common entrance into the school. And the interesting part thing that came out of this is that the elders came back and said, you know what, we embrace conservation. Children in school, and uh, we give them the warning, we treat minor illnesses, and uh, also we do screening of their visual acuity. This is to empower even the children to understand the importance of conservancy. As Kenya battles the scars of poaching and the specter of human wildlife conflicts, Lewa seemingly has figured out the formula that sees the communities and wildlife coexist and thrive. The communities around here have embraced conservancy and are acting as a first line of defense, a model that other conservancies and other national parks in Kenya can adapt and flourish. Warotekiru reporting for NTV in Lewa Conservancy.